here I'm going to be doing a SSD upgrade on my Lenovo Y50. Here's what you need to perform this upgrade. You need a USB a CD DVD drive because uh, Lenovo Y50 does not come with one. You either need a SATA, SATA to USB hub, dock, or enclosure. Preferably USB 3.0. You need a SSD. I bought a Samsung A50 Pro 512 gig SSD. And the tool you're going to need is a Phillips Zero screwdriver. Get into it. So the first thing you got to do is, well, get the SSD out of the box. So let's do that right now. Done. Next thing you need to do is get your SATA to USB adapter. Grab the solid state drive and plug it in. Give me a second, I'm only doing this one handed. Then you're going to want to do is plug the USB cable in to the USB 3.0 port. Fire up the Samsung data migration uh, by installing all the software that is on this DVD. Install that, clone your drive over, and, and then we'll, you'll install it. So I've already cloned my drive over, and I will start the install video now. Now it's time to install the SSD. So first thing you gotta do is you gotta undo all these screw holes. All of them, I already undid mine. Be careful with these plastic ones. So as you see what I, over here I cracked yeah so be careful with those there's another screw down here down here and there's one sneaky one right in the middle so once you get all that you lift up push back and re remove the cover okay so this is your culprit right here so you gotta undo these four screws one two three four then you gotta unplug the SATA then I'll, sh then I'll show you what you do after that. Once you've got all the screws out and you've unplugged your SATA cable, you just pull it out and unplug it. Be gentle though. You have to undo... Oh, oh, hold on. You gotta undo these four screws. They're, you can use your Phillips Zero. You don't need any special tools. So now, the, once you've done that, you re-screw the SSD in. Make sure when you put it in, it looks like this. Those tabs are on the lower end. And then make sure, oh, I wonder if this is gonna work. The SATA K connectors go like that. So small pin, big pin. Make sure this side goes up. So let's get doing that. Now that you got your SSD installed, I should tell you um tighten or put this one on first this screw flip it over and go to this screw go up top do this screw and then do this screw just like you're changing the tire so next thing you want to do down here is grab say the cable uh, i'm going to do it one-handed because i'm a rebel uh, make sure you put it in properly and squeeze okay so now you line it up there's a little notch down here, which makes it really handy. Uh, I don't know. A little notch down here by the screw hole. So, you line it up, it pegs into a notch, and there's two notches down here. Or, a notch down here. Makes it really handy to just line it up. So, you now you install these four screws. Do this. Go from to here, to here, to this one. Just so you don't stress the case so much. So let me do that, and then we'll start getting ready. Once you screwed the four, screwed the four screws in for the solid for the hard drive or solid state drive, put the back cover back on. Press the power button. 
wait for it, wait for it, and there, you're in. That's not my background. That's weird. Type my password in. And there we go. We had an SSD installed. So now if you're like me and you bought like an enclosure, enclosure like this one, you plug your old drive in. I'd keep the old drive with all the stuff on it for a bit longer just to make sure that everything you wanted got onto the solid state drive. Then you put in enclosure, screw the enclosure back together, and you're done. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this nice walkthrough tutorial on an SSD in the Lenovo Y50. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if you dislike. Doesn't matter to me. Please remember if you dislike. Doesn't matter to me. <laughs>